Sage Sigdell, Anchor, The Lewis Cottage. Phil Reed, Reporter, Panhandle Cottage. Nick Harmon, Reporter, Webster Cottage. Luke Fraley, Reporter, Randolph Cottage. Ethan Lovejoy, Anchor, Marion Cottage. Clark Gillespie, Reporter, Randolph Cottage. Dirk Shoemaker, Reporter, Marion Cottage. Ashton Klein, Editor, Canal Cottage. Jay Taylor, Webster Cottage. I'm Philip Reed. And I'm Dirk Shoemaker, and welcome to Full Send News. This is our third and final broadcast of American Legion Boys State. Let's head right into the news. Thursday evening, the bank had a lot of criminal action that had employees scared for their lives. While suspects have not been identified yet, we have asked some bank employees to give us a brief description of the suspects. Please keep in mind that this is not a confirmed description of the criminal. He was around five foot ten or so. He had a black face mask on with his hoodie up, and he had a 12 gauge banana gun that he held me at gunpoint as he robbed the bank. We also went and asked the forensics lab for any evidence that could help close this investigation. Well, honestly, there wasn't a whole lot to go off of. The only thing we really got was a handprint with the palm print and fingers. Uh, we got that lifted off of the table. And the only other thing that we got was a physical description. That's all we really got from there. There wasn't a lot to go off of. The bank also received a threat letter during the robbery, and this is currently being analyzed as well. A natural disaster in the form of a tornado ripped through the city of Upshur on Thursday. EMS, Fire Department, National Guard, and State Police were dispatched, and a state of emergency was declared by the governor. Fire Chief Richard Martinez had a word to say at the scene of the tornado wreckage. All right, so a tornado touched down in the city of Upshur, and we responded first. We, me and the EMS and firefighting, we cleared out the building with the help of DNR and state police. We have no casualties. There were two injured, both in the hospital right now. As of right now, we've cleared out the city. We don't see anyone, but National Guard is going in to assist now. Public officials held a press conference later on Thursday. Here's a word from the government and other state officials on the matter. We had a natural disaster of a tornado come through. There were sadly two injuries, none of which were fatal and both of which have made a recovery. Our main priority right now is to ensure that our people are safe and that they are taken care of. Well, as I said earlier, we will be helping them rebuild by providing them with state funding and any other resources that they may need to return to some form of normal. Uh, how do you like plan to fund get money to help rebuild the city? Well, we'll take some from the state budget. We have funding prepared and saved away for natural disasters, and we also have our national guard. And I will be promoting services to be put in place for displaced citizens and damaged homes for future natural disasters. This year at Boy State, citizens and workers are focusing on the importance of behavior health. With this topic becoming more noticeable these past years, Cliff Shingleton informs us on the topic and what we should do. Bringing in focus in on mental health, especially mental health in young people in the state of West Virginia is very important. Uh, we have a huge mental health crisis in this area and we have a, a lack of resources in the area for youth for mental health issues. On the Boys State campus, there is an obviously an outstanding band and chorus, but what really glues these teams together? Choir director, Dr. Jonathan Proctor, explained what he looks for in members of his choir in an interview with Full, with Full Send News. Well, I think we, uh, we always have a good group of boys that come in that are eager and willing. I think that's the biggest uh, key to the choir. We're not always necessarily looking for the best voices. We just want people who are eager and willing to sing, and that's what makes camp go so well. One of the choir members had this to say on their success. Just, uh, we work hard, and we hope you'll like the songs we sing. 
On the other hand, our Boys State Band has looked better than ever this year. The percussionist outlines how the band can play so well with such little practice time. Because we all have one common thing, and that is band. And because of that, we all just like, let's just go ahead and do it. Friday, there was an unfortunate event that occurred behind the assembly hall in close proximity to the Marion County Cottage. A 10-year-old boy fell into the river and was in critical condition. Multiple members of the Boys State first responder team were at the scene in an attempt to help and revi revive the boy from his unconscious state. He was medevaced from the scene where the, he reached his current location, the Boys State Hospital. New legislation has also been proposed to help voters at Boys State and to smoothen the election process. We spoke to Secretary of State Samuel Stotler about this new bill and how he thinks it will help citizens. Under the position as Secretary of State, I have recently proposed a bill to the legislature to impose voting records for voters as they go to the voting booth to promote um, voter confidence and voter safety. Voting booth will get an electronic printout of their vote. I dearly encourage the legislation to pass this for voter security and voter confidence and the overall um, improvement of our elections. One controversy that has plagued the government of the last 24 hours is the inclusion of the new law which is meant to protest lawmakers from being arrested while in session. All right, we'll see you man. If you guys have decided to destroy our legal system, I understand. Thank you very much. We have not destroyed our legal system. Yes, I will to see simply you. put, to put it this way, if we can, I will see you in the Supreme Court of Law for a felony. I have not committed any felonies, this and is, if you do, me and Wyatt felony. will be happy to see you. a loan over $2,000 as a West Virginia state law. Sure. If me and Wyatt will be happy to see you there, Article six to because the thing is, is that simply we have this. not committed a crime. If a person, firm, or corporation obtains labor, services, or any other such thing of value from another by any false pretense, token, or representation with intent to defraud the person, firm, or corporation, is guilty of threat, theft, sorry, of services. If the value of the labor, services, or any other such thing is 1,000 or more, the person, firm, or corporation is guilty of a felony. Upon conviction thereof shall be imprisoned in the penitentiary not less than one year. Do you understand the fact that that is a felony? Do you understand the fact that you did a loan and did not pay it back in time? Actually, can you please you read that, that out again? This is the West Virginia yeah, Code of Law. Which please hand that over to me. You can. Sure, we have plenty. I'll take one as well. Read for yourself. If you want one. By you, by that false pretense, or representation, with the intent to defraud the person, firm, or corporation. There was no intent to defraud. And yet you still did it. I'll see you in the court I did not do it. Until we can prove that, I'll see you in the court of law. Me and Wyatt will be seeing you in the court of law. Yeah, justice! Yeah! Yeah! Bro. Bro. So, why are you being called? There's been, there's been a lot of misunderstanding about this bill that I passed. Uh, the bill grants immunity to Senate and House members from being arrested while the Senate and House are in session. So you so, only you only did that because they missed their loan debt payments. So if No, they, if, I, I did that because they arrested Aiden Ward while the while the Senate was in session. In regards to the rumored clauses about the legislative power to suspend state police, these were his comments. To that part of the bill grants the right to the legislator to suspend all operations at the state police department, is that true? All operation? No, that's there's a there was a bill going around. There was a bill proposed by someone in the house to do that. I have no idea. The 83rd Boys State has made history. Specifically, Logan McCartney and Jeremiah Klum have created the very first business in Boys State: Life, Liberty, and Lemonade. This is what they had to say about their new business venture. Myself I had a great idea to open up uh, our lemonade stand. Nice. Really, the goal for us was. Maybe in 20, 25 years, could our kids come to Mountaineer Boys State and run our lemonade stand? I think that'd be pretty, pretty cool. The fact that we are making a long-lasting impact on this program. I hope by us passing this bill for the lemonade stand is going to open up more classes and just to get kids started in business. And this year, whenever you have your list of jobs and your citizens packet for the new coming Boys Staters, you'll be able to pick your start your own business slash lemonade stand. Okay. It's all about being involved being part of something 
you'll see us either at the ballparks or in front of uh, Vernon Dining Hall. All right. Uh, just remember, come support life, liberty, and lemonade. Both of the entrepreneurs hope to have the lemonade stand become a permanent feature and potentially even a job here at Boys State. Well, that's all we have, folks. Thank you for attending Boys State, and it has been a privilege to be here with you all. Have a great rest of your day, and re always remember to full, full send. send. Hey, loser. What's so special about you, huh? You gotta take pills from me. Yeah, come on. Come over here, come on. What is it, come on. Come on, come on. Need more pills to tell me what this is? Come on, what is it? It's a trash can. It's a trash can, you know what I'm gonna do with it? No, no. You gonna put it in? No! Hey, quit bullying him. You don't know what he's going through right now. You don't know why he might be on pills. What if something happened in his life that just like makes it really difficult for him? Come on. Hi, I just wanted to extend a sincere thank you for letting me be your- Bro, get this kid out of here. Here's an explosion. But yeah, thanks for- Thanks for electing me. I know I had a good time. I hope you had a good time. I hope I did a good, a good, uh, uh, what's up, Trenton? Oh, okay, Will. <laughs>